Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, I'm back once again. Bringing the two teas. The tea and the kettle for you all. Y'all know, remember the Pursuit of Portia. Y'all remember that book I bought for $13 and some change. And when we added up with the taxes and everything, it came out to be like a couple of cents less of $20. But originally her book was $30. Okay. How about her book is free now? Free for the masses, okay? <laughs> I just had to come over here and tell y'all that before I get into the bed. And hopefully y'all uh, watched my last video I dropped about her and Dennis going to court this month, allegedly. Make sure y'all tune in to that one. I tickled myself, too, when I was taping that. But child, this is the Shady Punch of the Night. And then I'm going to bed after this video. How about that helpful is over there saying, doing a promotion now. If you buy $75 or more of Go Naked Hair, she's going to throw in a free book. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I thought her book was on the best-selling list. Y'all know she was pro uh, promoting it out there like that. And now she has to give her books away. Nobody's buying them from Barnes & Noble or... Hell, I don't know what other bookstore, because that's the one I, don't, I usually go to here in Georgia, is Barnes & Nobles. But any other bookstores that she probably had her books in uh, last year, I think it was, in November, the book came out. Well, what happened to all the large sales? What happened to it being a bestseller? What happened to everybody just had to have her book? And quiet as it's kept, loud as I'm going to speak it out, people saying it's a coloring book. <laughs> Now, I ain't go that far. I ain't go that far to say her book was a coloring book. But, child, it was lies on top of lies. But it was her truth. But that was a hot mess of a book. It wasn't as bad as her show, which was Family Portia's Matters. Or Family, Portia Family Matters, yeah. Uh, but it came close. It came near damn close, okay, to being a train wreck as well. But I've never known anybody um, to have worn her hair. If you've worn Portia's hair, let me know. I'm waiting on, on her to throw in. If somebody buys her hair, they'll throw in them uh, sheets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause I still haven't bought her sheets yet. And I do plan on getting them because, you know, I want to do commentary. But I don't know if her hair ain't worth a two shit or not. Hopefully it is because if she's wearing her own hair that she's manufacturing for other people to wear, hopefully it's good product. It's good quality because, you know, her hair has always been flawless. Always, I can say, she does keep her hair and appearance top notch. You know, can't take that away from her at all. It's just her behavior I can't stand, her demeanor. All right? But, no, she's good in fashion. She's good in her hair. She's a good mother. Aside from the fact of putting that damn hair, fake hair, in her daughter's hair, her real hair. I mean, Portia, get somewhere and let her braid or braid your baby's hair. Not too tight because you don't want to give her headaches. And leave that little fake shit off. Because, see, like I said, you, you, you look how you wear your hair now. Even though you shouldn't have put that potash in there, which, you know, old school, back in the day when my mom was, you know, was younger, they used to call it potash. But we call it relaxer now, okay? Same thing, it's just acid. Eating up your brain. We're not eating up your brain, we're eating up your skull. If you don't believe me, just, you know, uh, Google it. Hair relaxes what it does to your skull. Okay, um... Yeah, so I guess next is gonna she gonna be to sell her hair. She's gonna throw out her uh, sheets for free. <laughs> okay, I'm like, which one is worse, the sheets or the uh, the hair? Okay, wait a minute, the sheets or the book? Cause we you damn sure don't want the book. I'm telling, you, it's gonna probably be in Family Dollar. I don't know how many cases upon cases she bought herself. Now she's trying to peddle them. Out, well, she really should have just went on side of the street. Really, set her up a little tent like they be doing at those uh, jockey sales or those um, what do you call it? What do you call the thing, Shonson? Uh, craft sales or you know when you got on the street panhandling, but not really panhandling, but you selling product. Um, I don't forgot what they call them. Um, kind of events they call them. But anyway, y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all know where I'm going with it. But, yeah, honey, I'm like, oh, Aunt Bertha, you said it right. She's doing too much. She's doing too much. She made that book, uh, 
uh, have the image that it was gold. You know what I'm saying? You need to get it because it's going fast. You you know you know like a Christmas sale. <laughs> you know your children be just worrying the hell out you about a toy that they want, and it seems like everybody don't sold a lot of them. And then you get one store saying they got a fresh batch. You know they probably got. 50 or 100 but that's about it and everybody just go down there and raid that toy store and stuff and be acting all crazy over a damn toy but uh yeah i was like wait a minute hold up that came right across my feet you know because i do follow poetry you know what i'm saying uh and i have no ill will even though some people think i hate her i'm hating on her. i'm not really i'm not i'm being truthful about what I see, and if you really want to be truthful and you're, you're considering yourselves a real fan of Porsches and you love and all that, you need to chastise her in the nicest way possible to let her know that, damn, she a mother. She's 40 years old. Cut out half that drinking. Cut all that partying out and raise her child. These are the formative years that she needs to be right with her child, educating her, nurturing her. Instead of being on them yachts head but naked and thinking she's single somewhere. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay. Cause look what we got now. She called herself writing a book. It that book ain't even six months old yet. Okay. And it was priced down to my thirteen dollars and some change, okay? Now she's giving it away for free. If you buy seventy five dollars or more of her hair products, go naked hair. So see I'm also uh, marketing for her as well. I am promoing her out on my channel, and she's not paying me anything. So I mean, if you love like her hair, and you didn't want to go pay anything for the book, child, only thing you have to do is make a purchase of seventy five dollars or more, and she's going to give you that Pursuit of Porsches um, book for free. That's right, you heard it for free. No strings attached. You just have to buy her hair products. So I'm like, for sure you're having problems. You know that damn that dirty sign I saw. Some people are telling me over on, you know, on the chat room. That sign is over there uh, flashing a Versace robe. I'm like, damn, why he always got to copy Dennis? You know what I'm saying? If Porsche ain't copying Fallon, that was going to sign and copy Dennis. I'm like, now see, we knew Dennis of that uh, famous robe debauchery you know what i'm saying <laughs> that whole train wreck of him not being able to get his versace roll now i'm seeing simon her boyfriend over there sporting a versace roll i'm like how childish is that i'm like when do grown-ups grow up you know what i'm saying we expect this shit from when they're children and in their young teenage years okay even the latter part of their teenage years and then when they get senior uh, worthy, meaning they're, you know, 60, 70, 80s, you have, they kind of go back as a child. That's where it comes, that old saying, once an adult, twice a child. That's where we're going with it. But like, God, dog, Simon, I'm sick of him. Like, he's supposed to have all his money. Why is Portia over there knocking on Bravo's door when they're going unanswered? They're not answering you, Portia. They ain't have no time for you. So just give it a rest. Go take some acting skills. Go get with the coach. If that's what you want to do, since you want to be on TV, it, it seems. Or join the World Wrestling Federation. Go on over there. And get in the ring with somebody because you sure like putting your hands on folk. Maybe they can teach you some techniques where you don't have to really, you know, be um, scratching them and, and making their eyes, you know, be bloodshot red and, and swollen. Maybe they, they can teach you some safety moves. Because uh, China, the wrestler China, y'all remember her? Uh, she used to be a wrestler. I think she dead. Ain't China dead now, Johnson? That wrestler ain't China. She had a heart attack. Okay, we don't know how she died, but uh, she was a famous wrestler over there. There's a lot of other uh, women wrestlers and martial arts uh, uh, individuals that compete and, and make money. I'm like, Portia, you know, if we can't put you out there with the WWF, then, girl, uh, maybe you, I don't know what are you going to do with that anger of yours. What else can she do, fam? What else can she do? How can she channel that anger? We'll, th we'll, th we'll think about that next video. But 
child, I just had to come in there before I lay my head down and go to sleep. Portia is on her uh, social media platform trying to sell her go naked hair. Looking all pretty, honey. But I'm like, you know, it's kind of hypocrisy when you're trying to sell your fake hair, but yet you're wearing your real hair. Isn't that the hypocrisy? Shouldn't you be having on a wig when you're trying to sell your wigs and extensions? I don't know how that goes when you're not wearing your own product, but you want to sell it to people. And then the product that you written out for people to read, you're giving that away for free, too. I, I don't know where she's going with it. Make it make sense. It's like she's balling backwards once again, okay? But why are we working so hard? Your product should be working for themselves if they establish their sales of good quality. Then you have a billionaire husband. Man, you should be into makeup. You should be into uh, mattresses. You know, go with what the consumer needs, Portia. Okay, because everybody, you know, like you don't came out your go naked hair. You don't went to your real hair. That's something as an accessory, darling. You need to have something with a little more oomph of investment. And you need to be meeting with some people that can show you how to invest and what to market yourself into. And your boyfriend slash fiance need to be paying for that. Because we still have yet to see. You want to see him on TV. He wants to be on TV. But he doesn't want to show his life. His comings and goings of how he makes his money. Introduce us to his staff. Something to that degree, Portia. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But that's all I got for this video, guys. So if y'all actually wear her hair products. And you didn't really want to pay for her book. But you wanted to take a sneak peek. And f you know, fumble through the pages to see what tickles your fancy. Child, she giving it away free. The only thing you have to do is make a $75 purchase or more. And she will slide that book while she says supplies last. And I'm like, girl, you probably got books until the end of time, okay? Because I know they're just sitting up there in cases and cases of boxes, okay? Because you overbought yourself. You oversold yourself. How they said you wrote a check that your ass couldn't cash. You see what I'm saying? Well, it wasn't your mouth couldn't cash. Y'all told me about it. Y'all gonna get on me. I know y'all are. Uh, you don't wrote a check. Your, wait a minute, your mouth don't wrote a check that your ass can't cash. I you go there you go i had i had a guy so i ain't want y'all get in them comments and ride my ass i know because y'all do that to me y'all do it respectfully but, but y'all be like come on mama dear come on grandma mama dear come on you know what i'm saying come on auntie dear get it together now get it together or leave it alone that's right get it together or leave it alone you don't want my love i'll be gone yeah honey yes but i'm going to bed now so y'all get y'all kiki y'all laughs because i'm telling you laughs a good for the soul and it makes you feel so much better make you feel so much better my babies okay but i will see y'all next video y'all take it easy and be busy bye bye